kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part 17 of my video series on Uber, a clone app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So, in this video, I am going to use the uh, on dragger on marker dragger feature. Okay, so uh, when the user moves the screen, those so the marker will be moved okay and also the location of the user will be updated okay so basically what we will achieve is the user will be able to select any place he wants where the car will come okay so you understand me so before that i want to show you that i already have a drawable okay this one all right so the user will be able to drag the marker from one place to another when he moves the map okay so i already have this uh, at the center of the screen or at the center of the uh, okay so for that i have used the layout center horizontal and center vertical true all right and after that what you can do okay so inside your own location change method so after you set the the current marker okay so here you we need to use the mmap dot set on camera idle listener new on camera idle listener okay and inside our own camera idle method so first of all we want to get the uh, latitude and uh, longitude so for that we can say lat long and we need to find the lat long of the center of the camera so we can say mmap dot get camera position dot target all right so first of all let me open the layout which we have okay so here we have this layout this is the select pickup location and let's try to change it to hint and also let's try to change the text to hint all right so basically here we need to check if and let's say what is the id it is button 5 let's see if we already have button 5 <coughs> okay so it's b5 destination button all right so here we can check if b5 So to string dot equals empty and current marker is not equal to null. All right, so okay, we have checked if the text of the button is uh, empty and the current marker is not equal to null. So here we can uh, say we need to remove the current marker so we can say current marker dot remove and then we need to add the marker so for that we can say current marker equals to mmap dot add marker before that we can use the marker options m2 equals to new marker options and then we can say m2 dot title current location and also we can say m2 dot position and instead of this position we can pass center here all right and after that inside our current marker so instead inside add, uh, the add marker method so we can just pass m2 all right 
and after that we can we need to start let log set it to our current location so we can say current marker dot get position all right and finally we need to set the string address to our uh, edit text so we can say b for source dot set text and inside that we can say get string uh, sorry guys get string address and inside that we can say current marker dot get position dot latitude and current marker dot get position dot longitude all right and here we have this get string address method here okay so basically what it does it is receives the latitude and longitude and it converts it into the address i mean the physical address all right and instead of else part we can say i1 dot set visibility and we can say view dot gone all right guys that is it so let's try to run our application and let's see if it works or not so let me first of all connect my phone all right so now my phone is connected and let's also open the side sync app So my phone is now already connected and let's now try to run our application and let's see if the application works or not. So our application is now running and here you can see I have this location and if here the uh, address is shown and now if I want to drag this so you can see that the address is now updated okay let's try to change that alright so let's try to have this and if I click on select destination location and if I click on Mehrban Colony and so here you can see you can see that we have this Mehrban Colony alright so guys in my next video we are going to use the google direction api to display the direction between um, our pickup location and the destination location uh, okay and after that we will find the distance between them in kilometers and after that we will also find uh, how much time it will take to reach from the pickup location to the destination location and we will calculate the fare and the fare will be shown to the rider okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye